offer to the voluntary uh, 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 buyouts or uh, severance packages. And the way it went was Enjoy they what were and above back then. And so the small fish at the small aquarium. Where is the fish now? And, uh, now it's going from 12, from 1 to 12. And so you'll get a commensurate uh, severance package based on the number of years. Oh, it's there. <laughs> Right, well, uh, General Motors is saying, number one, that they are going to be offering placement services, as they often do in these kinds of cases of uh, situations. But they offered an interesting other twist, and that is, they're saying that they're hearing from other Fortune 500 companies. Yeah, very it's much nice to look at. Their employees that they're running off. And so apparently there's an effort to try and connect these workers with those companies, and we'll see how that works out. All right, we certainly will see. Rock along to the point line. Make us smile. This afternoon. Make us smile. Hills, where we are following breaking news. North on I-75 right at F-59 is closed there because of a rolled over semi-truck. Want to give you a look at the damage. This is a live look from Sky 4. You can see that semi-truck on a side there. There's no word on any injuries, though, or what could have caused this crash, but we will keep you updated as we get more information, but you can see first responders are there on the scene as well. We do an update now the, the color is changing. The color of the water. In Russia, we have family telling local four representatives of the British Embassy in Moscow Stay. were allowed to visit with him last week. They delivered messages oh, from his family and received messages from him to family members. We have been visited by diplomats from the United States, Ireland, and Canada ever since he was arrested in Moscow mm, in late so December. The Russian government has granted the American Embassy an opportunity to visit with Parang dalawa, isa lang yan. Turning our attention to the forecast now, it is quite, dare we say, warm out there right now. But the big question is, will it we be in luck and it get any warmer as we take a live look outside from our sky cams in Romulus, Ann Arbor, and at Mount Clemens? Let's turn things over to meteorologist Paul Gross, who's in for Grand Root today. I'm liking all the fives that I'm seeing behind you. Oh, I'll tell you, most of the area is at or above 50 degrees, with the uh, 40s being mostly on the east side, the cooler waters of uh, Lake Erie and that south wind keeping you just a tad cooler. but. Man, look at all those 50s. It feels like spring mm -hmm. out there. Now, we had a few showers earlier. <laughs> tonight, uh, morning, but like I said, mostly we've got, we still have some left on. And one little batch coming right through uh, mostly Oakland County right here, moving out. Once that moves out, there's a bit of a break, but then this rain to the west mm -hmm. will increase through the afternoon. So through the afternoon, we are going to be in the 50s, so it's a warm one. But again, the rain increasing, maybe a rumble of thunder, 53, 54 degrees for the high. So this warm weather combined with that big deep freeze we had last week, big problems with potholes. Let me explain to you what's okay. happening because this is going to be happening a lot over the next week. We have lots of cracks and seams in the roads. What happens is water seeps into those cracks and then when that water freezes, it expands and that, that weakens the pavement and starts breaking it up and traffic driving over that further weakens that, breaks it up and dislodges some of the some of the rocks and some of the pavement and then what happens? Well, a pothole forms and so then the water getting into those cracks and then so we're going to see a lot of that Everett, as we move through the next week but for now we're going to also focus on the ice coming Wednesday. We will talk about that in just a few. Oh, if only there was a quick fix for all of this, uh, Paul, as we saw a number of potholes even this morning. Let's take a look at the video. Sky 4 over the scene there. Just before dawn today, several cars were on the shoulder south on I-75 right near the Davidson in Detroit. A pothole caused these drivers to experience the tires. Not that good. And drivers are advised to be able to look out for more potholes, as Paul yeah. mentioned, and the crews not were that good. Not that good. to fix them. The weather swings are also leading to some watering breaks. There was an early dismissal this morning for students at Birmingham not Senior that High School. Good. A watering break at Cranbrook and Midvale, adjacent to the camp. Nothing right now, or the Warriors will be covered in connection with a deadly hit and run in Warren. It happened on Grove's track at 10 miles just yesterday evening. Warren police say a man in his 50s was killed in the Grove's track. Police say they're looking for a Dodge Charger in this incident, and a $1,000 reward is being offered for any information that leads to an arrest. Officers have interviewed several witnesses, and they certainly hope to have someone in custody for this incident very soon. A high school basketball coach accused of having sex with one of his students is set to face a judge later today. Mm -hmm. LaJuan Turner is charged with four counts of criminal sexual conduct. Turner is the girls varsity basketball coach at New Haven High School. And he was found Come to the green. with a 17-year-old student at a Redwood Inn in Warren. 
warned police now seeking multiple charges, saying that this happened on several they occasions. Officers are trying to determine if there are any other victims. And I'm doing a for you this afternoon about a story that we first told you about last week. A Detroit man has been arrested and he's being charged with the beating and robbery of a school bus driver. Prosecutors say oh, a 23-year-old Rashawn Clark jumped on a school bus on Detroit's west side last Monday and beat the driver and took his personal property. Clark is in court today to face charges of assault and armed robbery. In political headlines this afternoon, President Trump has said that he will call for unity in tomorrow night's mm -hmm. State of the Union address. But he attacked Democrats today in a message about border security. The president went on Twitter and tweeted, With caravans marching through Mexico and toward our country, Republicans must be prepared to do whatever is necessary for strong border security. Dems do nothing. If there is no okay. wall, there is no security. Human yeah. trafficking, drugs, and criminals of all dimensions <laughs> keep out. The Pentagon has announced more military forces are heading to the border with Mexico. Nearly 4,000 troops will be sent to border locations. Their assignments will include putting up 150 <laughs> 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 and support customs agents along border points. But be sure to tune in to local 4 in for the first so. We're going to have all things State of the Union for you with our special coverage kicking off at 9 p.m. Again, live coverage for you tomorrow at 9 p.m. So we come here, Pope Francis became the first pontiff to visit an Arab Gulf state. We'll say where he landed today in this making history. Plus, it's back to court today for one time head of the Trump election campaign, Paul Manafort. Find out what's planned for him today. And if you're joining us here at noon, General Motors has confirmed its plans to begin cutting more than 4,000 white collar workers. For the next week, the automaker will be handing out white collar pink slips at all of its North American plants and some of its overseas operations. The automaker is starting on anything? With 23 other employees taking a buyout. This is part of GM's plan to slash $2.5 billion in costs. We'll be right back. It's time for kickoff. Wallside Super Sale 75. Buy one Wallside Lindo, get one free, plus an extra 15% off for cash. For four years, no interest. Call 1 800 521 7800. It's a new year. It's time for a new you. This year, get rid of hard to lose fat to reveal the slimmer, sexier, and more confident you with Sonobello, America's number one cosmetic surgery specialist. I wish that I could have known about Sonobello years ago. I'm 42 and I'm just starting to live my life the way I want to. Using advanced micro laser technology, Sonobello can give you the body you need for one day with minimal downtime. Call 8847 <laughs> 